Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be redoing a, a conference table and I use this a shabby cheek uh, paint that I got on Amazon. I'll link it below for you. I am showing in the video the um, finishing wax, but I did not end up using it because there was no need. Uh, this paint was really, really good, but keep in mind is the tiniest can ever. So it is not like a quart or anything. It's just super tiny. I didn't know if it was going to cover this whole thing or not. And it actually did an excellent job of covering the entire table plus the pedestal and I still have leftover paint. Seriously, the little can goes a long, long way. Now some background, I really, really like this style of table with a pedestal with the cylinder pedestal, but it is so expensive, you guys, to buy this table. But I thought that this was the nicest table and I really, really liked it. And then I noticed and I remembered back when I used to work at an office, we had one like that. So this is kind of like an office table, at least the shape, not the color. But um, I thought, you know what, why don't I look and see if I can find one of these tables at an office place? And sure enough, I found one for $250. Now this is like a pure wood table. This is not a laminate or anything like that. This is like a pure wood table. I could tell from the underneath. So I decided to bring it home. It's very, very heavy. I mean, think about a conference table from an office. They're very heavy duty things. So this is going to last forever. But um, of course the paint, the color wasn't the style I was going for. I really wanted a black table so i i picked up this uh shabby chic paint thinking you know um it had good reviews i thought it was you know going to be easy enough and it actually was it was a very very easy project to do um i think this is the biggest piece of furniture i've ever ever painted i think and it's a dining room table and i was kind of not sure how to go about it i mean i saw a bunch of videos but anyways, I did sand it and there were some nicks on the edge. I took care of that. I cleaned all the dust off of it and then I was ready to paint. So really the only thing you need to do is just maybe scuff it up a little bit because this paint is a, ch a chalk paint. So they pretty much stick to everything uh, I've noticed and I think it's a, it was a very, very good, high quality, high pigmented uh, paint. So um, here I'm gonna about to start the project. So here I got the little paint tray that I had and I covered it with aluminum foil. That's a really good tip because you can just throw away the aluminum foil when you're done. I did get these um, shock paint uh, brushes, but I will not be linking those because it was a disaster. It had um, little uh, of the bristles coming out. It was just not good. So I kept on having to pick it off and all that. In the end, I had to just use it because it's the only brush I had. But um, after a while, I started using the roller. So here I am, I kind of, I couldn't video the whole thing because I was like trying to paint at the same time. This was the first coat and I can already know, I, I can already tell you what the difference was. The pedestal looks amazing, but the top is not that great. The top, I should have rolled over the paint as I painted, I should have just rolled over it as well. So the pedestal came out perfectly because I would brush it on and then I would roller over it and it was super, super smooth. But the top, um, I did first, I think, and I just, it just didn't look right. So this little spot right here, I decided to sand because it had a, uh, a, a thick piece of um, of the paint on it and it was just protruding too much. So I decided to kind of sand it down and that worked. Um, the top has this kind of um, look that people like the line wash kind of look, I guess, but the pedestal came out very, very smooth. 
So here's the petal so you can see how smooth it is. And that was because, like I said, I would brush it on and then I would use the foam roller over it. And it just looks super smooth. Very, very nice. Um, <clears throat> but you know what? All in all, I really, really like the way this table came out. And it just looks so beautiful. I loved it so much. I'm showing you here the finishing wax, but I, I ended up not using that. I returned it to Amazon. I just didn't feel like the it was needed. And here is the result. Look how beautiful. You guys, these chairs that you see here, they're amazing. They're beautiful and they're super comfortable. And I think it looks great with this table and I'll link those below as well. Later on, I'm gonna do like a little uh, dining room reveal and you all can see it all nice and decorated. But for now, I'll link what I used to paint the table and also uh, the chairs. I hope you enjoyed this. If you can just, just subscribe, so many people don't subscribe, but they do see my videos and it would really help my channel. That'd be awesome. Thank you guys. Bye.